so my dear friends after all these things after all knowing the how the process of spermatogenesis is occurring and how the pliability is uh, changed uh, all throughout the process and the uh, chromosome number and uh, the types of divisions and so on so uh, now the question arises when mm, does this uh, process of spermatogenesis starts uh, in the male either it starts before uh, the birth in the fetal embryonic period or it starts or just after the birth during the childhood or it starts at the age of puberty the answer to this question is the answer is at the age of at the age of at the age of puberty what is reproductive period so reproductive period it is the period in which in which the formation of gametes take place only in this reproductive period and the uh, this the period starts it starts with age of puberty with the age of puberty that is nearly 10 to 14 years so it starts uh, with the age of puberty but the ending of this period differs differs with sex so in males it can last much longer than females whereas in females in males it is longer whereas in females it extends up to up to 45 to 50 years only up to 45 to 50 years only and uh, so um so uh, after that the menopause menopause occurs here the menopause sector so from puberty to the menopause whereas in males from puberty to longer than uh, the period is extended beyond the 50 years as well so depending on the so productivity so after knowing these things the question arises what happens at the age of puberty that is stimulating this process of spermatogenesis that is very important what is happening that that is stimulating what is the stimulant what is the thing that is leading to the initiation of this spermatogenesis so in order to understand this let, uh, let us focus on this chart so here you can see that as soon as the puberty onset of puberty in response to the onset of puberty you can see that hypothalamus hypothalamus that is lying here this hypothalamus releases one hormone what is known as a gonadotropin known as a gonadotropin releasing hormone so this gonadotropin releasing hormone has positive effect on the anterior pituitary and this anterior pituitary what it will release two special another two special hormones known as one is the luteinizing hormone another is the follicular stimulating hormone one is lh another is fsh whereas one important thing is follicular stimulating hormone here what is the function of follicular stimulating hormone in males in males what is the function of follicular stimulating hormone in males because follicles are present in females right whereas though the follicles are present in the female this same hormone is also present is also found in males but what is the function is very important the questions might be asked in any ways so you have to be prepared so the function of these follicular stimulating hormones in male is that it acts it stimulates and acts on the serotonin cells uh, as i have uh, already discussed um, have given a gist about the uh, serotonin cells right so now the uh, now you can understand very well so this follicular stimulating hormone uh, will stimulate these serotonin cells or acts upon these cells as a result of that these serotonin cells will uh, have positive effect on spermatogenesis whereas what does this uh, lh um, hormone has um, what is the role of lh hormone as we know luteinizing hormone acts on the lydic cells we already know lydic cells are the interstitial cells they are not present in the seminiferous tubules but they are formed outside the seminiferous tubules in the interstitial space that is present among and between the seminiferous tubule so these lydic cells will in response to this stimulation releases the androgens 
androgens and the special type of androgen is testosterone and this testosterone has many effects that are called androgenic effect so this hormone will control the secondary sexual characters as well as it also it also has a, a role in uh, it also has effects on spermatogenesis whereas the what is the role of sertoli cells what is the role of sertoli cells these sertoli cells has positive role on spermatogenesis as well as they will release one type of uh, one inhibin one substance known as inhibin this inhibin has feedback negative feedback regulation by inhibiting the anterior anterior pituitary so this is how the regulation is also known so apart from this sertoli cells also release and androgen binding protein androgen binding protein androgen androgen they also release androgen binding protein the sertoli cells also has a nutritive nutritive function and so the sertoli cells has different names let us go and study here here you can appreciate very well that here uh, here are the sertoli cells that are lying here only at the same time the lydic cells are here lydic cells are also known as as we know interstitial cells of interstitial cells of lydic and sertoli cells are also known as known as nurse nurse cells are supporting cells supporting cells are nourishing nourishing cells are sustentacular susten sustentacular sustentacular cells so there are different names for sertoli cells because the um, how uh, because of its function because sertoli cells also helps in nourishment they are also um, nourish nourishing of these spermatozoa um, the developing uh, spermatozoa so it it is known as nourishing cells supporting as it is supporting as a nurse uh, it is working as a nurse and sustentacular cells so this is how you have to relate and um, also you can uh, remember um, these names along with their function